Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing alright. Um, so these are words for uh, for anybody who watches, but specifically intended for Donald Trump, if he happens to watch this. Um, if you start talking about the hemp plant, this is something that could, you know, change the direction of uh, your attempt to be president. Um, I don't know for sure, I don't keep too much of a track, some political or this and that, but it feels, and I've seen some things that indicate that you're not doing um, as well as you were a few weeks ago. <clears throat> and my intuition is telling me that a lot of it's because you're choosing not to talk about the hemp plant. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna break it down. So like the perpetuation of these toxic plastics is literally a crime against life, okay? It's killing the planet. If you look up the definition of a crime, it's anything that has an offense, anything that is evil, to be evil is to live backwards. So we continuing to produce products that literally kill other life forms is perpetuating more evil. It is what it is. I know it's just stuff that we all do. I have plastic bottles all over my room. We see them all over the place, but that doesn't mean it's right. Okay, especially when there's a plant that's literally designed to be biodegradable, non-toxic, as well as producing other a plethora of other you know healthy products is right. You know, and it can be harvested within four months. You know, America was founded on, largely on hemp. There was a mandate back in the day uh, to that that farmers had to grow hemp because it's a cash crop because it's just so good for everything. So anyway, my point being, again, getting back to corruption and politics and where all this corruption came from, it does come largely, if not mainly or solely, from Americans' decision to, to consume products that are bad for the world. Okay, by us continuing to, to consume these products, we're letting things in spiritually and we're letting things in materialistically that are evil. Okay, we're continuing to perpetuate things that are bad for other the, the world. Okay, that has an effect, all right, and it's, it's spiritually on us, and it also has an effect on our economy, because we're continuing to allow these businesses to grow up and grow up and grow up and build up and build up and build up and get stronger and stronger and stronger until they have the point, until they have the power to where they can literally rig elections, they can defund polices, they can change the education system, they can change the political system, they can control the media, they have control over the media, it's their media, they're all connected, and it's because we've allowed these people to grow so much power. If we had more regulations, if we had more mandates on things that shouldn't be allowed and things that should be allowed, these type of people would not be able to have this type of power. <clears throat> so anyways, Trump, this is, if you want to give back your you know good favor of the people and really do some good, shed light on these evil companies. And if you have any associations with them, you should end them because they're bad. Okay, and it's like if you're really trying to do good, then you, and, and align yourself with with God or the Most High or your Source or higher vibrational energy. These are the type of things you need to talk about. You need to talk about how wicked a lot of these companies are, and how we continue to consume these things is bad for us as on an economy level, and it's bad for us on a spiritual level. And there's an alternative, so it's like there's a way to change the economy from this this crazy fucked up one that we have right now into a very good one, as well as offering good jobs for people. So it's. <clears throat> anyway, I just thought I'd share that with y'all. So I hope you have a good day. Alright, love y'all. Bye. <clears throat>